Did you know that you can get your fortune told with coffee grounds? Well, one New Yorker is bringing this Turkish tradition to the Lower East Side, and I'm about to go hang out with him now. My name is Dr. Honeybrew. That is D R H to the O to the N to the E Y. And brew like glug, 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 glug. And I'm a Turkish coffee fortune reader slash Turkish delight maker. So those are two very different mm -hmm. professions. Let's start with the fortune telling. So the fortune telling, this is a tradition that dates all the way back to 16th century Ottoman Empire. Wow. And that the leftover grinds that appear in the bottom of one's cup is supposed to be reflective of what's to come in one's future. When I was 10 years old, I moved uh, to this wonderful country with my mom to Minnesota. Wow. And yeah, I know, right? I'm still trying to figure that one out. I was like, <laughs> why Minnesota? Moving to a place like Minnesota, it made me feel so far away from my culture. Right. And by the time I came out to New York City, I just thought to myself, you know, I'm gonna be the ambassador of all things Turkish in New York City. Turkish coffee reading, Turkish delights, and soon to be Turkish oil wrestling. What is Turkish oil wrestling? Uh, you don't wanna know, I Michelle. That. You don't wanna know. And tell us about a Turkish delight. So the Turkish delight is actually known to be the predecessor to the jelly bean. I went to Turkey and I knocked on the door of 50 candy makers, getting on my knees, begging them, please, please teach me the Turkish delight. Look What's at this. What's inside of this one? This is uh, matcha cocoa, not too sweet. Mm, I got something Delicious. to say now. Teach me how to make a Turkish yes, delight. Yes, I will teach you, Michelle. <laughs> Holy moly, we're gonna do a little bow, yeah. Oh my goodness. That's got a licorice smell to it. Mm -hmm. It's like anise. Three, Three to two, one. one. Holy Whoa. moly. We got that Turkish delight. Okay, well, while we're waiting for this to settle, can you read my fortune? I'd be glad to. Let's do it. I gotta say, this is by far my favorite, favorite way of making coffee on a pot of hot scorching sand. It is piping hot. bananas. Rap, bop, bop, bop. Blow on the cup. So, I wanted to add a 21st century take on this wonderful tradition by incorporating this amazing camera. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Have you considered playing pickleball with your kids? I actually am part of a tennis club and we are planning to pick up pickleball. Mic drop, what, what? is up? <laughs> All I will tell you is that your oldest child will be a master, master, master pickleball player. The pickleball will take you and Madeline all over the world. I'm gonna tell you, big hiatus coming your way December of this year. You're going to your boss, what's your boss's name? Morgan. Morgan! <laughs> Michelle is working so hard. Michelle needs a break, a vacation! I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed being here with you. Thank you, Dr. Honeybrook. Make sure you check out his social media. He's, you're just a blast. <laughs>